the Evergreen Media Network Studio, powered by Scott Tree Services. Welcome to the Lori Davis Show, where it's all about the amazing lifestyle on our Treasure Coast. And here's your host and realtor for life, Lori Davis. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. We are so glad that you are with us today. We have a very exciting show today. There's so many reasons to be happy. One of them is health related, <laughs> and everyone is kind of giddy in the studio today. We'll get to that later. Um, anyway, thank you so much. I'm Lori Davis with Dale Sorensen Real Estate. Lori Davis, your realtor for life. Um, most of you know uh, I've been doing this for 18 years. It's been a long time. I love what I do, taking care of buyers, taking care of sellers. And I always say, you know, selling real estate is not about selling condos or homes. You know, they call it brick and mortar when you talk about stores, but it's about lifestyle. And Vero Beach, the reason why people are selecting our beautiful town that we live in is because of the lifestyle it provides. And we have our guest today is someone that is providing this wonderful accoutrement to the lifestyle that we have here in Vero. Um, new restaurant and cocktail bars are popping up. Uh, it creates a vibrancy and a buzz. And this guy definitely is creating a buzz. <laughs> You'll see what we're talking about in a little bit. But we do, we, you know, they, they started year um, over a year ago. September. September. Yeah, it'll be a year in September. Yeah, yeah so we're just so happy. Um, and it's it's going so well. And there's actually more things that are happening. And as they happen, we'll continue to bring him on the show to talk about what's exciting. Mm -hmm. So, um, Cindy, yes. we're going to talk about what's happening around town, which is what we do on the Lori Davis right, show do, yes. at this point. But yes. you said you got some good things to tell us about. Well, I, I want to tell you that I went to the Riverside to the Gloria Stefan one. I was it's on my list. I pleasantly surprised. Was it good? Yes, it was really good. Okay. Well, and I don't want to mean to sound like that. No. But the ending was different. Okay. The ending was different, but yes. it was funny, too. In a lot of parts, it was really funny. So it's music. It's a little comedy. Yeah. It's a little something-something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was laughing through a bunch of it. And then you get involved with it, too, with the clapping, and then they do some of stuff course. in the aisles and whatever. It was really good. Yeah. It was. I, I was suspected surprised. we'd yeah. get something like that out of mm -hmm. it. That was actually one of my... Yeah. I would talk about, you know, what to do in Vero Beach, and... Some things to do inside, some things you need to do outside right. because it's been so beautiful. But, mm -hmm. oh, I'm so glad to yeah. hear you were like on the cutting edge. It just started, right? <laughs> when did you go? Oh, right there. You get the premiere stuff. I do. You get the previews. I do. Cindy is yeah. in. She's like hooked up. Well, I, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> Let's I not am. kid ourselves here. But you know what? Kinky Boots I missed because I went to the Willie Nelson concert because I had to see I'm, Willie at 90. I, I mean, know, you got to right? go see Willie at 90. But same right. night, you did know, he come out with his talker? Oh, no, he didn't have a walker. He was okay, Good. Really cool. Did he come I out wanted, with a, yeah, a little rope? Spliff? Air, totally. You didn't have to buy any if you didn't want to. <laughs> you could just smell, just hang yeah, out totally. in the realm. I just wanted to be at the bus when he opened the door. Yeah. I to oh, see God. How much smoke yeah, came right. Out of the like bus. a big bong hit just yeah, opening totally. the door, just, yeah, right? It was hysterical. I know. Two I know. hours of pouring rain, but it was worth every second of it. Oh. And then we got our shoes sucked off our feet in, in the, the mud. mud. <laughs> so it was good. Just something to talk about. You know what? It's it's like uh, my cousin Vinny. If you ever lived in the South yeah. and you walked in the mud and you lost your shoe, you know exactly what we're talking right. about. And it's true, right? <laughs> it's totally true. It's totally true. It was true. like my nod to Woodstock in 69. Right. There, there you go. go. No shoes, just in the mud. And anything went. It was hysterical. So anyway, I went. I did actually went to Kinky Boots after, because so many people raved about it, and it was incredible. So yes. good for them. Yes. Riverside Theater, you know I'm a huge fan. I tell everybody about it. You really need to go if you yeah. haven't gone and mm -hmm. just go see the next show. And yeah. you know, it, it. We talk about the ones. Oh God, you should have seen the Miracle mm -hmm. on. The one with Elvis and all those guys. Oh, the but Million Dollar Day or the whatever. The Million that Dollar was Quartet. Quartet. Yeah. And it's like, it was so good, but that's gone. Yeah. It's like real estate. That house was great. Yeah. But that's gone. Right. And yeah. now, well, this is what we have to offer you. This is what we have to look at. Yeah, and let's yeah, find yeah. something fabulous yeah, yeah, yeah. with that. And Riverside Theater is definitely like that. Yeah, they do, it. do yeah. wonderful things. Mm -hmm. um, that's mm -hmm. the next part of the show is what's going on around town. Mm -hmm. um, great things to do inside. Great things to do outside. We talked about uh, Up on Your Feet. That's the story of Gloria and Emilio Stefan at Riverside mm -hmm. Theater. Mm -hmm. But also, it's Vero Beach Film Festival yes. weekend. This is the big weekend. Yes. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we had them on the show a couple weeks ago. Fabulous folks. Great 
theater. So many things going on. Um, shout out to Zach Gruber, who's uh, sh his film is being shown. Um, don't miss it. Buy tickets online at vbfilmfest.org. Mm -hmm. vbfilmfest.org. Okay. It's wonderful. There's so many things going on. There's meet and greets. You get to talk with the um, the, the directors and the, the writers. And that's the uniqueness of what this mm -hmm. film festival is for Vero Beach, is that it's very intimate. And people are coming from her all around, and they want to be in it. They actually have to turn people away. They don't just yeah. take everybody. Yeah. Um, they, they've done a really nice job. They have a great reputation around the country. And um, so don't forget that. Now, outside, um, a spring boat show at Riverside Park oh. is this weekend. Oh. So Saturday and Sunday. And Cindy, I know you just go out there and walk around the boats, don't you? Do. You go walk on them. <laughs> I was like, I'd be like so embarrassed. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to buy a boat, but I want to walk on your boat. And like, right. huh? No, but you do. I look at them. I don't get on them. Oh, you don't? No, I do. I wouldn't do. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I don't really know a lot about boats, so I go out there to try to educate myself, just to have a goof yes. and whatever. And just yeah. fascinating. I know it it's is fascinating. I it know. Is. I yeah. know. My son-in-law, they have a boat. Yeah. So I just call them up and go, "Hey, is this one any good?" Like, no, no, I don't do that. You know, I I, I love boating. I grew up boating. Yeah. Um, my husband is not a boater at all yeah so i don't even put myself through the torture because i'd be like oh that would be great you know um until i get my own le license to do it myself and just tell them i'm buying a boat and if you want to go for a ride come with me uh i don't i can't put myself you know what that. i'm going to throw this out and i i can't believe how long i lived here i had never done it and my daughter's like you have to go do the bioluminescence and it's july <gasps> or august so uh, we did tracy it. our oh, friend tracy God, talks you about have that to go it it's a paddle incredible. right out of riverside park yeah we went up by palm bay <laughs> right Melbourne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause they're up that way and that's Same where the thing. boat is but yep. it was incredible around I the know. island and those houses there <gasps> it's amazing i know it's, it's crazy the things we have here in vero beach mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about Amazing. this is lifestyle in vero beach mm -hmm. um so the other one is the farmer's market oceanside drive we know that um sun and we have a sunset saturday night ocean drive yeah so that's where they close off the street um mm -hmm. down on ocean drive right across from humiston park and they pull in um like a, a trailer and they put a band up there and they have you know food trucks and stuff like that so and that's free. It's There's free. Nothing. Yeah. Just bring your beach chair. Walk around. Even you sit mm -hmm. on the wall at Humiston. You don't even have to bring a chair or go have dinner down there somewhere and come stroll up. It's pretty cool. It's cool. That's yeah. that's I've, why we live. Yeah. That, that's why people are moving to Vero Beach. Yeah. And we're very happy. Yeah. And if you needed that realtor and you're just listening to the radio or seeing this on TV, you should call Lori Davis mm -hmm. uh, at... Uh, Seven seven two five three eight eighteen twenty eight. That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, nobody ever does that. <laughs> Realtor for life. Realtor for life. Yeah. That's right. I've been here so long. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. Okay. One of the more interesting developments is there are distilleries being built mm -hmm. and producing spirits here in Vero Beach. Uh, we're all familiar with the breweries. That's been going on for a while. But distilleries um, are now popping up. Now, a distillery is a place where distilling an alcoholic beverage is done very simply a, a definition um in the era of prohibition they had bootleggers there was mafia and speakies and they forever changed the face of america but america said no because when they said no more liquor then it went illegal and that was only you could only get it through those terrible places they weren't necessarily terrible they just well the people that ran them you know kind of it wasn't equal an opportunity for everyone uh the ratification of the 21st amendment remember that name, uh, marked the end of the federal law to bar the manufacture, transportation, and sale of intoxicating liquors. We have a special guest on the show today. He's part of making new things happen in our town. He's the one creating the buzz. Um, let's welcome Jeff Pileshi, founder and president of 21st Amendment <laughs> Distillery. Yay! Love it. Love applause, honey. Right? Look at you. I know. Like, is that good? Like, can love I pump you up anymore? I love the show. I know. I feel like Rocky coming on. You are. Da -da -da. <laughs> We're gonna, Cindy, we got to get that one. Next time. He's coming next month. We need a hooded, uh, what do you call it, jacket oh, or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's oh, a name right. on the back. The a robe. smoker's robe. The robe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. Thank now, you. your motto uh, on your website, because there are some things that are very special about your abode, your establishment. Um, a spirit worthy of Americans. You built America. We built the Stiller to, be, to celebrate you. Yeah. You guys are very much a part of honoring veterans in Vero Beach. Tell yeah. us a little bit about yeah. that. No, it's absolutely. Uh, we support veterans. We have a bunch of, we support a lot of uh, different 
um, charities in town. Like you mentioned, we're doing something for the uh, film festival. Um, I think I think the big thing is with us is um, we uh, we're, we're sort of blessed to do this distillery, and where uh, this the, the distillery is kind of a vehicle to do all of that and right. to be uh, to give back in the community, and mm -hmm. um, uh, that's important for us, and we're going to keep doing it. Um, but veterans is one of our top causes. Um, uh, uh, United States Marine, former United States Marine, so. Uh, it's important to us and important to me to to kind of support that. Right, right. Well, we we love that you do that, and I think um, I've been to your establishment many times, and I see we're not keeping track. I know. <laughs> Cindy said she was there too. <laughs> I did. I won't say what I was doing there. She, but yeah. she said she yeah. was there too. Yeah. Um, anyway, but I do see a lot of veterans there. I do yeah. see a lot of guys that you know, not necessarily you wouldn't know. But given their age group and in town, and I'll yeah. bet they say something to you yeah. when they come in and just say, "Hey, man, thanks" yeah. or whatever. Absolutely, yeah. it's, it's a good, it's a, it's, it's a good, uh, it's a, it. The nice thing about Vero is it's a, it's a great veteran town. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of veterans settle here, and uh, we just, you know, kind of proud to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, now you're located at 2055 13th Avenue. It's across from the old post office, guys. <clears throat> the old post office downtown. That one little street next to Don's Paint Store. Is Don closed? He closed. There's he a new store going. Did. There. Okay. But anyway, because if you've been in Vero forever, you remember Don's Paint yeah, Store was down there on the corner. Mm -hmm. But it's right there across. It's a really cool little spot. Mm -hmm. um, now, you're making your own private label. You are distilling spirits here in Vero Beach, yes, correct? Yes. Tell us about that. So we're, we're, um, we're going to distill um, all the spirits, you know, uh, vodka, rum, gin, Whiskey, my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of specialty stuff too. Um, so we also blend uh, different different whiskeys. So mm -hmm. the the thing we're drinking today, uh, the Twenty One Salute, is a blended whiskey. Tell you introduce we're, what we're drinking. Yeah, today. we're we're, it's so we're good. having Show the, them the bottle. We're having the Twenty One Salute. Um, basically, this mm -hmm. is uh, this is a whiskey that we first um, the first barrel that we. Um, that we've uh, developed was a barrel that we donated to the World War II Memorial oh, uh, wow. to raise some to raise some funds, and that was a huge success. So that was great. We're also doing a lot of things like um, uh, citrus vodka. Yeah, we have our own bourbon cream. Okay, uh, we do a lot. Oh, I'd like to try that. It's so delicious. I would love it's that. It's so delicious. It's, so, you mean that this bourbon is it's fabulous? By the way, we didn't even take a sip. I, we have cheers. to take a sip on Let's camera. Cheers. Let's try it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Delicious. So, um, so good. We're doing like a coffee agave. Oh. So okay. um, coffee agave, we do limoncello. Okay. Um, oh. So there's a lot of different, oh. uh, a lot of different spinoffs. Right. Now, you said that um, you're going to offer guests their own blending program. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? So one of our new things is um, guests, and this will mostly be for whiskey. Uh, okay. but, yeah. but whiskey uh, fanatics can come in and uh, <laughs> we will have set up, we'll have a bunch of um, different age whiskeys uh, out and, you know, there'll, there'll be barrels and whatnot. And um, folks can actually choose, they can put one in a, in a smaller barrel, 15, we're doing 15 gallon barrels. Okay. So they can say, hey, I like that enough to just put that one in. Okay. Or they could say, I want A and B or A, B and C. And they can actually literally uh, blend their own uh, whiskey. We hold on to it for a year, and okay. then after a year, they can they can grab their whiskey. Is it in a keg like thing? It's in a smaller, cask? yeah, a cask. Cask. Okay. Uh, so okay. we we do for this program, we're doing fifteen gallon barrels. Okay. Uh, our standard. Can you fit that are, in your trunk of your car? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a picture in my head of what I'm yeah, talking you can, about. Yeah, you can you can fit it. <laughs> <laughs> we drive around yeah. selling real estate with a 15-gallon yeah. <laughs> cask of bourbon in my trunk. She is the happiest filter in town. That's going to well, be at like... That point, at that point, we'll hire you a driver. <laughs> right. Thank you. But I will be promoting 21st Amendment's special personal blend. Um, but now, so in that, because I really do think that's cool. Jared is your distiller. He is fantastic. He's a great guy. I, I haven't yeah. met him yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So would he be there... Like, yeah. would you say I'm bringing me and my three friends to do this? How yes. would someone do that? Yes. Yeah. So, so you can, um, you, you, you know, call into the distillery. Yeah. Um, there's a, you can, you can go online and fill, fill a form out. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, Jared would, would definitely have something to do with that. Okay. And, uh, you know, right. just, it's, it's sort of, um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a spinoff of what we do when we blend, 
yeah. all these right. alcohols. I mean, mm -hmm. we go in in the morning and it's like, you know, it's a fun morning. You know? Hello, coffee. I'm, I'm, taking Hello, a, I'm taking a nap by 11. Of course. But, but it's, it's, it's amazing to, to wake, you know, this is part of our job. I mean, yes, that's, that's what is. I tell my wife. Anyway. It's my job. Honey, this is my job. <laughs> so um, it's just, you know, laying, laying some of these options out and just it, it, all our taste buds are different. Sure. Yeah. You're right. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we all have different, not only taste buds, but different experiences mm -hmm. with um, smell taste, sight, and stuff like that. So um, what what I might like, you know, to have to put to, to mix into this sure. uh, concoction, you might you might pick totally something different. else. So it's it's a each each guest gets to experience something that that uh, they love. That's awesome. And yeah. of course, you're going to make a small blend there and go, oh, I like that. I like yeah. that. I don't. Yeah. So that's yeah. very cool. Um, now, you're also saying that you're going to start offering some online spirits. Yes. Yes. Tell we're, us about we're working that. on that. Um, we are, you know, the the laws with um, dis distilleries and really any alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty, pretty strict as far mm -hmm. as, um, mm -hmm. you know, mailing uh, any any <laughs> alcoholic bottles or beverages or yeah. stuff like that. So. We are working on uh, a partnership right now to um, where you'd be able to go online. It's like a, a 21st Amendment online store, mm -hmm. uh, and you'd be able to purchase, you know, our, our alcohol online. The nice thing about that, too, is like if you're, if it's an out-of-town guest. Yes. And they don't feel like you know packing it in their uh, their their bag or something sure, like that. Which is very they difficult. Can, they can just. You know, it'll be it'll arrive before they get home. Now, would I be able to? Because sometimes I want to send. I have buyers that move away from here, and I if they were a, a guest or customer or something that I knew, and I could send them the twenty one salute. One hundred percent. You could send that. Yeah. So you could send it very, to someone else. Somewhere. Very convenient. Yeah, that's fantastic. And legal. And totally legal. We don't do anything Which illegal. Which is nice. No, no, I know. this show. No, no. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to take a break for a commercial. That's how we pay for the show. And we'll be right back to talk with Jeff Pleshi. We've got wonderful things to talk about. 21st Amendment Distillery here in Vero Beach. We'll be right back. <laughs> At Sunshine Furniture, our 35,000 square foot showroom is filled with the largest selection of in-stock coastal furniture on the Treasure Coast. Dining and bedroom sets, occasional tables, sofas, sleeper sofas, love seats and chairs, in all the latest styles and colors from Tommy Pahama, Lexington, Hooker, Riverside, Universal, Four Seasons, Braxton Color, and Capri. We're the outdoor furniture experts and have hundreds of styles of any patio furniture you need, including a gallery of Berlin Gardens and Bollywood. We specialize in fire pits, outdoor rugs, umbrellas, and replacement cushions. Sunshine Furniture, 1295 US 1 in the Publix Plaza Vero Beach. Family owned and operated since 1991. Don't forget to visit our outlet store directly across the street filled with lots of name brand closeouts and sale items. Visit our website at sunshinefurniturecasual.com. Sunshine Furniture. Get ready to experience the rhythm of a lifetime with On Your Feet, the electrifying Broadway musical celebrating the extraordinary journey of Emilio and Gloria Estefan. From humble beginnings in Cuba to global superstardom, their music transcended borders and inspired millions. Don't miss your chance to dance, laugh, and sing along with the music that defined a generation. On Your Feet, now playing at Vero's beautiful Riverside Theater. Get your best tickets now at the box office or riversidetheater.com. It's time to call Easy Brew Coffee and Bottled Water Service and learn just how much you can save and how convenient it is to have your coffee and bottled water delivered right to your home or office. In addition to water coolers, Easy Brew offers individual bottles of water in 8 or 16 ounce bottles. No more lugging it home or dragging it into the office. Serving the Treasure Coast for over two decades, two letters, one simple name. Easy for Easy Brew. Visit e-zbrew.com or call 800-792-3285. Easy Brew. We're always talking about what's happening around Vero Beach and 21st Amendment Distillery down on 13th Avenue is what's happening in Vero Beach. Um, I don't even want to go yet if unless we have time to talk about the food that they're offering because not only is it a distillery and you can go there for cocktails and it's so cool. It's such a cool vibe of an environment. You've got kind of like that old 
timey. I mean, your guys and girls are wearing black vests and a bow tie and a white shirt. It just makes it seem so sophisticated, and yet it's super casual. Yeah. Wonderful. Couches sitting around, guys, high-top tables, low-top tables, live music, somebody strumming a guitar. It's amazing. Now, you talked about, um, you're talking about maybe renting out the facility. It's it's a facility yeah. that's now available. Tell us something about so, that. So, um, you know, private parties, you can, you can um, we offer a full, you know, buyout to where you could kind of take it over. Yeah. Um, we also have um, sections in the distillery where... Uh, whether you can pull a curtain yes. and kind of have your own area. Um, that was popular during like football season and stuff. Oh, Someone oh could was watch, it really? Yeah, watch their, you know, their game or yeah. something. Yeah, um, And then in the very back, um, uh -huh. at the back of the distillery, there's a real private, intimate, um, ta private tasting room, we say. Yeah. Uh, and that's awesome. There's, uh, it's surrounded by like decanters and stuff mm -hmm. and, you know, has a nice chandelier back there. And we offer um, private tastings, you know, you can rent it out, have a meeting back there, yeah. um, you know, whatever. And you so. go through the distillery to yeah, get there. Yeah, you get to, you have It's to kind go. of funky. It's mm -hmm. it's a neat room. You showed us yeah. around. Uh, you gave Tracy and I the tour. Um, it's really kind of neat to be back there. Um, now, you are a part of the Vitality, I believe, in downtown Vero Beach. And that whole, and it's not a, a resurgence because it's been going on for a while. But you you mentioned earlier before we started the show that that means a lot to you and you kind of dig that. What's, yeah. well, how's that? Well, so Vero, I mean, Vero's like, I know. Ooh, could you ever move away from here? I mean, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's just so unique. It, it yeah, really there's is. There's nothing unique, like it. It really is a unique place for and, many miles. And and I love you know the beach is awesome. Uh, you know the mm -hmm. beach is has has such an amazing mm -hmm. attraction down there. But true that. Um, I'm I'm proud and, and honored to kind of be downtown and and sort of it, it you know 1920 Vero was uh, um, uh, became a city and it's just nice to be down there among some of those original buildings and mm -hmm. whatnot. Um, so. You know, we're trying to, it's like a, it's like a balance, you know, you have your, um, um, your retirees and your, mm -hmm. your, your older professionals. So what we're trying to do is, is sort of bring all of that together downtown. So you get, you know, um, uh, you have your older people, the retirees, the, the working class, the professionals, um, and then, you know, some of the younger the younger yeah, kids that, are liking we, it too. That we wanna, that we mm -hmm. want to uh, keep attracting a Vero. That's important yes. for uh, for the future. Yeah. So um, it's a little bit of a balance, you know, you know, music and stuff like that, and we're we're kind of finding out a lot of that. Um, but uh, it's it's a uh, it's been fun. A lot of the young guys, listen, all my son's friends are drinking old fashions, yeah. okay? Yeah. So they just go around town trying people's old fashions. And I'm like, that's what I did at that yeah. age in yeah. my 20s. I was like, I like a Manhattan. So let me try yours versus yours versus sure. yours. And I think that you do. The environment is really kind of cool because it, it does cross over. Yeah. And your music is, you know, guys that play everything yeah. from... You know, um, ja ja you know, jazz, jazz. piano, uh, to Coldplay. Yeah, a co yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry, really. but you guys, it really. Yeah. I, I think mm -hmm. um, Dobson was playing the night yeah. we were there. Terry's the guy's great. He knows. Yeah. I mean, he knows what everybody wants to listen exactly. to. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I can't say enough about if you haven't been there. Um, it, it's it's very old timey, and there are. I, I always love a place where you can sit on a couch. Me too. You know, just mm -hmm. kind of relax, right, Cindy? And I like the barware that he has. That I you have. I love the barware. The barware is great. Fabulous, the coupe yeah. glasses. It depends on the what you're what you're having. Yeah. You know what you're drinking. But um, anyway, we don't have enough time to go over everything because we haven't even gotten to the food portion of this thing, which <laughs> they have some amazing yeah. foods that all of us like just keep going back <laughs> for. So anyway, um, Jeff, thank you so much thank for being you. on the show. Um, we're going to figure out in the next couple of days, um, the next time you come, we're going to have a big reveal, thank something so exciting much. that's yes. going to happen on yes. the show. Um, but listen, thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank we're you. very, very happy. We'll be seeing you. Uh, you know, air shows coming up there. Yeah. Are, everybody's going to be around town. So uh, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you feel better. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, everybody, thanks for coming on the show. We're so glad you're here. Be safe out there. We'll see you here next week. Have a great week and have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye.